this week. Woof. We got the monster in town. What knockers? Young Frankenstein. Frankenstein. You're putting me on. And some Duchette's fresh squeezed IPA. Yum. Stick around and watch, fuckheads. I'm not drunk again. I'm reloaded. Break stench. What's happening, John? Not much. Living a dream. Yeah, what else can you ask for? More beer. Well, more beer. My dick to be bigger. And the ladies not trying to get a protection order after our first date. Your life sounds swell. I'd say you're living more of a nightmare, not so much a dream. Yeah, well, someone has to do it. Speaking of nightmares, young Frankenstein today. Sort of a takeoff or a sequel to the original, I suppose. Yeah, Mel Brooks. He's a great director, and he's teamed up with Gene Wilder as a screenwriter on this one. It's good stuff. After you, Frau Blucher. What do we have for a beer? Duchette's Fresh Squeezed IPA. You sure do like those fucking IPAs, don't you? Can we get some uh, stouts in here again? Yeah, we'll try. I know we really don't do uh, the beers justice in our little show, but uh, what can I say? I haven't met too many beers I don't like. And there is some good shit out there by all these fucking breweries. Keep it up, guys. You're doing a good job. Keeping this drunk happy. That being said, I like it a lot. I'm giving this motherfucker four mugs. Not my absolute favorite, but great taste. Some good beer. Yeah, I'm even worse at being a critic. We should just discontinue this part of the show until we find a beer we don't like. Every week we'll just put sponsored by without actually getting the money, I suppose. Then it would be called Three Scenes and Two Massholes, John. Oh, it's just a thought. Follow through. Now that's the problem with me when it comes to beer. And my rating is uh, five for this one. I like it. Very refreshing. All right, on to the movie. If you don't know or have not seen Young Frankenstein, you should throw yourself in the fucking traffic. Gene Wilder plays the grandson of Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. And he's been trying to avoid the relationship to him. Do you also say Froderick? No. Frederick. Well, why isn't it Froderick Frankenstein? It isn't. It's Frederick Frankenstein. Until he inherits the castle and everything with it. And in his travels, he meets up with some very interesting characters. Oh. Hello. Would you like to have a roll in the hay? I would roll in the hay with her any day. Roll, roll, roll in the hay. Stick my face right between those titties and blah, 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 blah. Tom. Too much? Ah, uh, yeah. Calm yourself, Weinstein. It's... That's Wienerstein. Gross. Anyway, Igor and Inga bring him to the castle. He eventually follows his destiny and tries to make the monster. Well, Igor, or Igor, fucks this shit up even worse than you on a date. Are you saying that I put an abnormal brain... Into a seven and a half foot long, 54 inch wide gorilla! What? Is that what you're telling me? It's not far off. He's looking for a decent brain. I look for chicks with no brains. Real fucking class act. You're right, Igor is fucked up. He ain't got no body, and nobody cares for I mean, yak the dog. I mean, forget it. Anyway, the abnormal brain gets put in a monster, and he takes off, and eventually meets this nice blind man. I didn't realize you were mute. You see how heaven plans. Me, a poor blind man, and you, you, a, a mute. The music is soothing to this dumb motherfucker. And everything's going great till. <laughs> he goes ape shit with the fire. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Wouldn't you if you were set on fire? Stop, drop, and roll, John. I think I learned that on Saturday morning cartoons or something before they sucked. There's an episode for you. 
three great Saturday morning cartoons. I can talk about how I'd like to tag Smurfette. Oh, Lord, forget that then. Little Blue Pussy's matter, John. Okay, final scene. I'm a... I... Oh, my God. A final scene is the reason I would like to exchange my pecker. He filled you with his love and feeling for sure. And yeah, that's a pier show. You think it was cold? Well, I think he's alive now. How about worms? You think his wiener has worms? Um, no, I don't. I doubt it. She probably wouldn't have been so receptive. I don't know. I've seen chicks do some fucked up shit for a big cock. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not even asking. I'm gonna tell you anyway. Yeah, I figured. I saw this dude. He was like 11 inches long. Did you measure? No, it said so on the DVD. Oh, porn. Anyway, the fucker was more of a train wreck than me, looks-wise. He's pierced left, right, and sideways in that giant fucking anaconda. And he's tagging this blonde, and she's like, Oh, tear me up, tear me up. I, I, I was going to say, well... Porn, Tom, but that can't feel good no matter what. Fucking an ugly guy? No, big dick. And your piercings going into the lady. She was no lady. But anyway, she starts to gobble that giant fucking hog. And then she starts choking. That got stuck? <laughs> yes. As a chick, you should know your throat to dick ratio. And if you can't handle such things, the moral of my story is some women will do anything for a big dick. Penny for your thoughts. Mm. You're incorrigible. I I'm just trying to wrap my head around if porn's not real life. Porn is real life. The original reality shows. Oh my. Anyway, let's just go to the rating of this monster. The dick? No, Tom. No, the movie. Oh yeah. Well, this is probably my favorite Mel Brooks movie. Blazing Saddles is right there with it. We'll review that at some point in a couple of weeks. As far as this movie, I love the jokes. I love the black and white. Very archy. The blonde with the big boobs. I'm going five out of five. It's a fun flick. Yeah, I love this movie. And you can ask me tomorrow. I could change my mind, but Blazing Shadows might be my favorite Mel Brooks one. So reserving a perfect score for that, I'm going to go four out of five on this one. 4.5 out of five, actually. So Blazing Shadows is a five for you? Way to give it away. Nobody's going to fucking tune in. It may be a 4.5 also. And who the fuck's tuning in? We got like fucking 20 views. Whatever. Anyway, on to another episode next week. I think I'm going to keep this shit a secret. Giving people a chance to watch our uh, preview episode that nobody's watching. Okay. We'll see you next week. See you assets later. I'm going to try to go bury my monster. Oh, I tore up a little in my mouth. <laughs>